good day everyone uh, in this video i am going to discuss how you can do wound dressing during your burn injury or motor vehicle injury or any chemical burn injury you can use this mebo this is very effective uh, in the wound dressing and i will i will show you the picture how it's uh, get recovered very fast and it will helps in the wound healing as as well as it protects from the any infections i uh, i have my own patient in here uh, i will show you the picture of uh, that patient how quickly it's recovered uh, he has the electric burn injury but you can also use this one in if any motor vehicle accident or any trauma or you can use this one but uh, i will show you the picture uh, this is my patient who has the electric burn injury. I will show you how it's uh, faster healed within the, I think within uh, 15 days of his uh, hospital admission. When we, you, uh, before I was using silver uh, sulfur dyes and it was healing also good pretty well. But when I started to using this Mebo, it's really healed very fast and I will show you know the how it's work uh, how it's worked in that patient so first no you have to know how you can use uh, this mebo in your wound dressing it's very important to know and how to maintain your sterility but it, because you can also do this kinds of dressing in your home if you know about this wound dressing but if there is any hospital or healthcare even it's private or government you can go also there and uh, you can tell them to for the wound dressing with this mebo it's very effective in the uh, any kinds of injury so i will show you know step by step how to uh, use this mebo during the burn injury you can see you know the here it's the herbal and it's, there is uh, mostly there is no any side effect for uh, this uh, mebo but in some time i noticed in some patient there is allergy uh, because of this mebo so you can consult with your doctor you can go and visit with your doctor again and they will advise you for another uh, ointment if you have allergy from this ointment but it's very i saw it's rarely i have seen but just very in very few patient i have seen uh, they have allergy to when they are using this uh, mebo uh, overall this is a very nice and very effective in the burn injury so i will show you how to do know the step by step how you can do your own dressing in in your home so what you will do you uh, this is the no the box no you can get the inside the tube mebo tube it will be like it's the it is the it is the best like this this is not the mebo actually it's inside i'm not uh, getting using this one because it's a little bit expensive so just i will show you demo with that when uh, this cream so you can uh, you can do similar thing with this mebo how you can apply so what you have to do uh, first thing you have to maintain the sterility so what you will do when you open this one uh, the tube of this mebo don't touch with your any dirty hand try to uh, clean with your clean clean and washed hand and so i have i don't have any assistant here to so what we'll do first no uh, you have to you have to buy also the sterile gloves it's very important to maintain the sterility so no you can in the pharmacy you can find you no know, like this the sterile gloves so you have to also know how to use this one because when you uh, make it contaminated with any dirty things then there is chances of infection are more so you have to maintain the sterility first so what you have to do first you open these gloves i will show you how to use gloves also so this is my glove size 7 you can ask in pharmacy they will give your glove size 6 6.5 or 7 8 what is your size they will give you 
So how you just you open like this? When you open your glove, this one, don't touch here and here, because when you touch uh, this part and this part, it becomes unsterile. So it's very important to maintain the sterility. So what you have to do? You have to touch here at the, you know, and then you have to put your finger like this. Make sure you don't touch this part. Just you hold this and you pull up. Same like in other gloves, no? You now you have this sterile gloves, so no, but you can touch now here. So just you hold it like this, but make sure this another hand should not be touched on that sterile area. So just you put your hand inside like this. Make sure your this glove hands also not should touch here. Otherwise, it will not maintain the sterility. So you also pull up like this, you know. Then it will become the abnormal uh, sterile. This one you can touch here. This paper is the sterile, so there will be no any there will be no any chances of contamination. So you can touch this paper because when you open no the your tubes no, maybe tubes you need one sterile contaminate uh, sterile container. So, but I don't have here a sterile container, but you can also use in your home. Like you just put at the side, no, this one. Tell some other person, no, who is just uh, beside you to put this tube, no, like this in the, on, on this paper, no, which is wrapped uh, with the gloves. So just use this paper also if you don't have a container, but make sure you don't, make sure you don't touch uh, this uh, tube with your sterile gloves tell someone to put here or any clean uh, clean container so you can use this one so just i put no this the paste here but you have it's not the mebo you can uh, the mebo flavor is uh, like uh, butternut it's very uh, this good flavor for the patient also like many times what we will notice you no know, after dressing you no know, uh, because of the any inflammation no the wound get a smell very bad but when we use this mebo this is also the one of the benefit when we use this mebo there is not such a uh, bad smell from the wound and it, the you can smell like it's butter so it's also effective for no the patient they will not get irritated from the bad smelling so just you know get mebo from this tube no and you put on the any clean container or on this paper but make sure you don't touch uh, your make sure you don't touch this tube with this sterile gloves tell someone to put the hair no on the paper or any container without touching that on the paper just from the above and after that what you have to do you have to you need also Uh, so, suppose if the patient has just little uh, scratch or any small burn, no, like chemical burn or any electrical burn, if just a small, I will show you a picture also, the superficial burn, you can just use, you no, know, like this, you no, know, just you take, uh, and with this, uh, with your sterile hands, and you just put on the affected part. If there is, you no know, any, make sure, you no, know, it's like this. Uh, apply on your affected part where it's burn and if there is more burn I will show you the picture because it will not affect if you just know uh, putting will if we will put like this so we need you know the proper dressing so what we have to do also we need a uh, dressing material also so for the dressing material we need this one the gauze no yes for oh, the gauze we can buy in the pharmacy we can buy this gauze in the pharmacy this one no and also uh, make sure while you are using this sterile gloves don't touch uh, you uh, on the packet so otherwise if you your otherwise your gloves will be on a sterile so make sure the some uh, other person or your assistant should, should give this uh, SO or the gauze so tell your assistant no just 
open like this and tell your assistant do not touch inside if they will touch inside it will be the honest dial so make sure they will not touch inside and you just carefully get once one or you just get one from the you just get one from this packet what you have to do no you have to take this may bono and you have to put on the this gas and you have to know mix you have to you have to make sure that all part will be equally equally you know it's make sure all parts should be the equally equally distributed with this mebo ornament so when we apply on the wound it will be effective and it can cover the more part of the wound so so what we have to do so now we have already you know uh, apple put no all it's equally distributed already so what we have to do if no there is the wound or any part so what we have to do is we have to apply like this no we have to cover this wound with this gauze and after that you have to after putting with this mebo uh, with this gauze you need to also put one esterile no same this esterile gauze esterile gauze no you have to put same esterile gauze gauze on top of that so it will protect from any infection or any uh, going to sit any dust or any other particle no so it will prevent from also from infections so you just put like this no and you have to put the elastic bandage over you can put the elastic bandage over the this yes or gauze yes o or gauze so it will secure the so it will secure this uh, gauze from falling down use this plastic it's easy to uh, remove this plastic when we change the dressing so what we have to do we have to know no so we have to not like put the so we have to know fix we have to secure this by with any elastic tape so it will not be fall down or it will not get uh, pull out with any movement of this patient so use any elastic just i use this elastic you can use any elastic if elastic tape if you have in your in your nearby you can use this one so know this how you can dress in your patient in your home if you are far away from the hospital or if, if you cannot afford the hospital bill in hospital because sometimes in private it is expensive to uh, for the wound dressing also so you can also do wound dressing in your home but make sure if you have any kinds of do uh, while you are doing uh, dressing in your home if you have any kinds of inflammation like pus coming from the wound you try to contact uh, with your doctor or any hospital so they can give you the proper advice what you can do and one thing is you no know, when you use this mebo you no need to take the any extra antibiotic this is also one of the use advantage by using this mebo because it has already the antimicrobial antimicrobial property so you no need to take any antibiotics if you have pain then you can just take pain reliever it will help you to relieve your pain so uh, i'll i already show you know the picture of my patient how it's uh, recovered from his electric burn so really i have i used i was using before uh, silver uh, sulfur dyson and other solar site it this is also very effective but when i used this one i feel it's the healing rate the healing time is faster than the others so nowadays just i'm uh, prescribing this uh, maybe to our if to our any patient who is suffer from burn injury or any accident motor vehicle accident i prefer this mebo for that patient it's uh, on my experience i have seen no it's very effective in the wound healing in the burn or any kinds of accident happen i will show you the picture all i will show, I will show you picture so this is all about no how you can do wound dressing at the end no you try to maintain your sterility don't touch this with your sterile gloves with any other particle otherwise you will get infect the wound so while you are using this sterile gloves 
make sure you will not touch with any things or who is assisting you make sure they will not also touch your gloves only they put your no ointment on the paper or in the basin with the clean no style clean basin you can use this one if you don't have the style uh, clean basin you can use this paper when you know open the gloves and you can see these papers just you put uh, the ointment here and you can have sterility maintain also can you use that ointment on the burn area or the cut area or you have any accident area you can use this one if you have a small cut no need to use this yes so gauze just you apply the mebo on that part no need to do this wound dressing if you have big injury or big burn you have to do this dressing so make sure at the end again i am i want to remind you do proper sterility while you are doing wound dressing in your home thank you for watching this video if you learn something from my video please like and subscribe uh, this is my youtube channel thank you